Published 1841 est, 10 December 2017 Updated 1841 est, 10 December 2017 Celtic boss Brendan Rodgers has insisted Scott Brown remains the best midfielder in Scotland as he dismissed his engrossing Easter Road battle with rising star John McGinn as no contest. The Parkhead boss insisted the 23-year-old Hibs player has a way to go before he is at Brown's level but counterpart Neil Lennon insisted magnificent McGinn was a cut above the rest in Leith. The difference in opinion came after a thrilling 22 draw at Sub-Zero Easter Road as Hibbs came back from the dead to rescue a point. Hibernian midfielder John McGinn battles for possession with Celtic captain Scott Brown. Scott Sinclair's second-half double had the Scottish champions seemingly cruising before goals from FA Ambrose and Ollie Shaw levelled the game. And after Celtic made it 68 matches without domestic defeat, the two managers were at odds over the duel between the rival Scotland internationals. Asked to comment on the contest between the midfield pair, Rogers said there was no contest. Scott Brown was the exceptional midfield player on the pitch. I like young John McGinn. I think HES a good player. HE's got drive and good energy. But Scott Brown is the exceptional midfield player in Scotland and he has shown that, not just in Scotland but when he plays in the Champions League. So, he McGinn will have a way to go before he will be at that level. Scott is a brilliant player and he was very, very good today. You know what you get with Brownie, from the first minute to the last. HE's a winner. But Lennon hit back I would totally disagree with that assessment that it was no contest. I thought John McGinn was superb today. Celtic boss Brendan Rodgers has insisted Scott Brown remains the best midfielder in Scotland. He don't remember Brownie dominating the game. In fact in the last 20 minutes John got stronger when we put to him back into his natural position. He played a bit differently to start with but I thought he was magnificent. Maybe Brendan sees it different but I thought McGinn was a cut above today. A frenzied last 60 seconds saw young Hibbs Subshaw's strike cleared off the line by Mikhail Lustig before Sinclair missed a last gasp chance to win it at the other end. But both managers were in agreement that Celtic did not deserve to lose. Rogers said the craziest thing about it is we could actually have lost the game. But to lose that game would have been a crime, really. I thought the level of our play was exceptional and we could have been out of reach. We went 20 up and we should probably have been 4 or 5 up. Defensively, we were very strong but that last 15 minutes was not so good. But I was really happy with how we played and with our composure. It's a tough place to come and they're a tough team. But I thought we were, much the better team, without getting the result. Neil Lennon felt the 23-year-old McGinn was a cut above the rest in Sunday's Gamma Lennon was critical for referee John Beaton for not showing Dedrick Boyer to a second yellow card for a foul on Dylan McGeouch but he was happy with the draw. He said it's a second yellow a clear second yellow for Boyer to. I thought the referee was going to reach for it but then he decided not to. It's unbelievable, and how Mikhail Lustig didn't get a yellow card in the first half I don't know. It was strange decision making from the referee. But if we had won the match today we would have been fortunate. I've got to be really pleased with a point. Lennon, meanwhile, confirmed he wants to sign Niall McGinn in the January window after the player was a guest of Hibs at the match yesterday. The Northern Ireland international is a free agent after his contract with Korean side Gwangju was cancelled by mutual consent last month. We have expressed an interest in Niall McGinn, said Lennon. That's as far as it has gone. He was invited along to watch the game today and hopefully he will be pleased with what he saw.